Dang, Gemini, y'all going through it. It's looking like y'all hella guarded at this time. Um, first of all, it's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Goddess, and I'm here to do your telescope reading for the last week of September. You guys were looking like y'all hella guarded about a situation. I think y'all with somebody that's doing everything, the worst things that you can do in a relationship. They lying constantly. Uh... You feel like you're being led on. Oh, damn, man, yeah, you're not happy right now. Shit is out of control, okay? So it's not a happy family situation. This could be somebody you have a family with. You could have a family with a, oh, wow. It's tens all over the place. Shit is over with, okay, son? And both the tens are in reverse. So we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Emperor in reverse. So it's looking like shit is out of control. It's a loss of money. It's a loss of happiness. And it's definitely a loss of control in a situation at the present time. All right. Can I please get messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising <coughs> for the week, uh, the last week of September? Okay, Spirit. Oh, what was that? I'm just put them back because they was all sideways and I don't know how they're supposed to be. So, okay, messages for Gemini. This was here. It was a need for healing in a situation. Need to take a break, heal, sit back, think about shit, get some clarity for one. Energy for, oh wow. Damn, everything good is in reverse. Okay, so it's looking like it's so much unhappiness, discord, lack of control. Um, somebody feel like they really losing their legacy. The tens represent family to me too. You know, like the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups represent, you know, happiness and wealth within a home, happiness and wealth within a, a family. And this again is the stability within a home, and it's in reverse. So somebody's either contemplating. Somebody's either thinking about moving out or they have moved out so that they can think. So that they can further process what the hell is going on in a family situation that they feel out of control on. Looks like somebody wants to work on it. And if somebody is not trying to work on it, somebody is throwing themselves into work. Hell freaking focus so that they don't think about this. I'm getting escapism. Energies for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks, uh, I mean, the last week of, mm, turning it back on a situation, Gemini. You're turning it back on a situation that used to be stable. You feel like it's really not going anywhere. You feel like it doesn't have any substance, and you're just looking for something better. And it's looking like you just recently dropped a third party. So maybe you was already seeing somebody else. Or this could be just a lack of reconciliation. But we'll definitely see. We'll get to the bottom of it. We'll clarify using the norms. Okay, Spirit. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Why is the Ten of Cups here in reverse? Why is the Ten of Cups here in reverse for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising? For the last week of September, why is the Ten of Cups here in reverse? Ooh. Okay, so let's do this. Yes, here it is. The Queen of Cups. This is the one that needs healing. This is the one that could be already uh, healing. Um, It's definitely looking like she's shutting down her emotions at this time. Even though this queen is always full of intuition, compassion, and emotion, her cup is closed. I don't see no opening to drink out of. And furthermore, she looking hella disappointed staring at that cup. So this is her in rest mode to just contemplate what the hell is going on with her situation. So somebody has gotten so freaking, it's a lot of forest here. So forest can be significant. Maybe it was a lot of stability within this relationship. Ooh, the Emperor in Reverse was lying. Lying. 
not being honest within the connection. Why is not offering clarity? Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here? Jesus. Again, Emperor in reverse. And the Four of Cups in reverse. So, uh, okay, yeah. So it's looking like this Emperor is definitely taking a loss. I don't know if he has to pay it in child support, alimony, or if he just happened to spend a lot of money to get out of this situation because it's looking like somebody had to move out. This situation is over. Whatever secrets came out, it put this situation at a halt where somebody definitely don't want to work it out even if the other person does. <clears throat> and somebody is not moving forward with a stable offer. They had a standstill. And it could be this Queen of Pentacles energy. And the Queen of Pentacles can be the Queen of Cups in this in this spread too. Why is the Four of Wands here in reverse? Why is the Four of Wands here in reverse when it comes to Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last week of September? Mm -hmm. Damn, I really feel, let me clarify this again, because I look at that as an apology, but the four of wands, even this person, yeah, this person moved out. This person literally moved out and made a offer to somebody else. Could have been a Capricorn or it could have just been somebody that they was already Okay, so why is the Eight of Pentacles here? For Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last week of September. Mm. Yeah, this person is moving away. I feel like this person even got a job out of state to get away from this situation. Why is the Three of Wands here in reverse? Why is the Three of Wands here for Gemini? Uh-oh. <laughs> the imp I mean, the Hierophant came out in reverse because this person wanted a divorce. They want a divorce. Wow. I really feel like this person in love with somebody else. They in love with somebody else. And I feel like for the longest, they've been avoiding the truth and they've been thinking about how they're going to tell the truth. Somebody's searching for the truth that somebody else won't tell, okay? But that person won't tell it because they're trying to avoid hurting somebody's feelings. Okay, why is the Princess of Pentacles here in, re in reverse? Oh, gosh, come on. Why is the Princess of Pentacles here in reverse? Wow. Oh, gosh, yeah. I feel like it's a retract of, uh, I don't want to say a passionate offer, but I feel like it's somebody pulled away their, emo not emotion. <sighs> somebody is just no longer passionate about this. Like, I feel like the innocence out of it is gone. Like, it's no more playfulness. It's no more, like... Kiki, tickle, tickle, you know, that that newness, that innocence, that childlike energy within a relationship is no longer that. It's a bunch of people stuck in their head, feeling trapped, wanting things to freaking end. Like, it's all doom and gloom. You know, if it was nice before, it's messed up now. Could be dealing with a Virgo, too, with this Hermit in reverse here. But... <laughs> Searching for something better. Options. Seven of Clubs is clarifying the Hermit in reverse. So at the bottom of the deck, it's looking like somebody wasn't strong enough to tame themselves to a third party situation. And I'm going to pull some. I feel like this reading is incomplete as fuck, but honestly, that's it. I pull clarifiers for every single thing. So let me just go ahead and do the overview. It's looking like somebody was extremely unhappy about a situation. Um, I feel like it was lies. It was definitely cheating going on. 
things just reached a stalemate. Somebody no longer wanted to commit because they had options. And they wanted to actually give those options a chance. And so I feel like this person, in order to avoid the guilt, they moved away. They moved out of state for work. They moved out the house and away, out of town. They stayed over, however it goes. But this person moved away. They found a job out in a different state. And they are exploring their options. Meanwhile, the other person is healing. Um, I feel like stability is on the way for both of these people. I feel like, um, you know, the person that was left kind of blinded and hurt and stuck and trapped and not knowing what was going on and lacking the clarity and the confidence. I feel like this person is definitely going to be in a better place. Yes, things are looking bad right now, but um, I feel like after a period of healing, this person is definitely, um, after a period of healing, this person is definitely going to be okay, but somebody else definitely moved on. And if they didn't move on with a specific person, they simply had the option to move away from work. They had other opportunities and maybe they just wanted to make this new start either by themselves or they just wanted to be single so that they can't actually and guiltlessly indulge in their options. Okay, Gemini, let's get some Oracle cards from Earth Magic deck. Wow, that was too many. Stillness, yeah. I feel like this is for the person that's healing. You know, a period of just being still, rest and retreat is needed. I get that this situation was very emotionally draining, especially for the person that is being left behind. Okay, so let me get two more oracles for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of the first, I mean, not the weeks of, but for the last week of September. I gotta remember that part. Vigilance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, surprisingly and thankfully, somebody is choosing not to watch the other person. Somebody simply needs to focus on healing and maybe that's why they're not because they know if they did, they'll probably see something they didn't want. But with crystal focus here, I feel like somebody needs to focus on healing and realigning their crown chakra for sure with the amethyst here. Um, but more than anything, more than any specific chakra, this person just needs to heal. Okay, so we're going to pull an affirmation card and then I'm going to send y'all on y'all way. I got two more to do. Can I get an affirmation card? For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay. This world is our heaven on earth. You got three. <laughs> this world is our heaven on earth. We are the power we are looking for. Each one of us is linked with the universe and with life. I feel like for the person that got left behind, they definitely need to keep that in mind. <sighs> there is a solution to every problem. Yeah, this situation was a problem. There is an ever-ready power that helps me meet and overcome every challenge and crisis in my life. All of my relationships are enveloped in a circle of love. Taurus got the same thing. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Air signs did come up in Taurian readings. I have wonderful, harmonious relationships with everyone uh, where there is mutual respect and caring on both sides. So, yeah, nope. Okay, guys, so that concludes your reading. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Hopefully, this resonated with somebody. It was really, really close to the Taurus reading, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, or you could definitely have Taurus in your chart. Let me know in the comments section. Give me a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ciao.